good morning dear students let us continue few more problems on formation of steam chapter in 15 me 52t subject applied thermal engineering so let us read the problem the internal energy of 1 kg of steam at a pressure of 14 bar 1.4 mega pascal is 2420 kilojoules calculate the dryness fraction of this steam find the increase in internal energy of this steam is superheated at a constant pressure at a temperature of 295 degree centigrade take specific heat of superheated steam as 2.3 kilojoules per kg kelvin so we need to find out the dryness fraction of this steam so let us see what are the things given in the problem and then let us start solving the problem so he has given us the value of pressure pressure p equal to 14 bar that is i will write again 1.4 mega pascal and then the internal energy has given u1 u1 internal energy is 2420 kilojoules along with that he has given a superheated temperature as 295 degrees centigrade so t soup is 295 degree centigrade then he has given us the value of cp of superheated steam that is 2.3 kilojoules per kg kelvin so these are the things given in the problem now let us take the values from steam table at 14 bar and then solve the problem so at 14 bar what are the values from steam table as i have told you i am referring table number 2 from rs kurmi steam table so from steam table from steam table at p equal to 14 bar let us write the values so what is the first thing saturation temperature so the saturation temperature is 195 degree centigrade then the hf value hf value is 830.3 kilojoules per kg then next hfg hfg value is 1959.7 kilojoules per kg kelvin then the value of vg that is vg of steam specific volume of superheated steam that is 0.141 meter cube per kg then let us find out the internal internal energy we know the equation for internal energy that is internal internal energy u1 is equal to that is hf plus x hf g1 minus 100 p x v g this is the equation what we know so let us substitute the values and find out the value of dryness fraction so as i have written the equation u1 is equal to hf plus x hf minus minus 100 px vg the equation what we had just written i will show you the equation once again this is the equation what we had written u1 is equal to hf plus x hf g minus 100 into p x vg so i'll substitute the value in this equation now that is u1 is 2000 420 is equal to hf1 is 830.3 plus x into hfg value is 1959.7 i am putting a bracket to this minus 100 into p is 14 bar into x into the value of vg so substitute this value 
and solve for x. So when I solve for x, I will get the value of dryness fraction x equal to 0 0.9. This is what is first initially asked to find out. Then next we know that V superheated is nothing but Vg into T soup divided by T sat. So we know the value of Vg that is 0 0.0.141 into T sat that is T superheated is given to us it is 295. So always add 273 to this value. So divided by T sat value is 195. 195 plus 273. So add to this you will get the value of V superheated that is V soup is equal to 0 0.1711 meter cube per kg. So upon finding out the value of V superheated let us find out the value of change in internal energy which is asked in the problem. So to find out that value we need to find out next is internal energy of superheated steam. So internal energy of internal energy of superheated steam superheated steam again the same equation what we had used there we are using the same equation that is here we will be calling it as u2 u2 is equal to hf plus hfg plus cp into bracket t soup minus t sat this gives me what is enthalpy of superheated steam minus 100 into p into v soup i repeat hf plus hfg plus cp into bracket t soup minus t sat is nothing but enthalpy of superheated steam minus the external work of your operation of superheated steam that is hf value is 830.3 plus hfg value is 1959.7 plus CP is given 2.3 into bracket. T soup is 295 minus 195. So I'll put a bracket for this minus 100 into P value is given that is 14 bar minus into into the value of VG that is 0 0.1711 which I have just obtained in the problem. Just Calculate this, you will get the value of internal energy that is 2780.46 kilojoules per kg. 2780 kilojoules per kg is the value of what internal energy of superheated steam. So once I get this value, next I need to do is to find out increase in internal energy. So increase, increase in internal energy internal energy is given by the equation u2 minus u1 so what is the value of u2 it is 2780.46 which just now i have obtained minus 2420 which is given in the problem so i'll get the answer as 360.46 kilojoules per kg kelvin so I'll repeat the problem once again. So in the problem 1 kg of steam is given. The pressure is 14 bar. The internal energy given to us is 2420 kilojoules. Calculate the dryness fraction and you need to find out increase in internal energy of the steam. So we need to find out what terms I'll write again here we need to find out x and change in internal energy that is u2 minus u1 we need to find out these two terms in the problem so to find out these things what are the other things given in the problem is the temperature of superheated steam that is 295 degree centigrade and he has given us the value of cp so taking these values from steam table at 14 bar we will get the value of saturation temperature then hf 
एच एफ जी एंड वी जी दीज वैल्यूज वी ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम स्टीम टेबल देन वी नो द इक्वेशन फॉर इंटरनल एनर्जी इंटरनल एनर्जी इज एंथलपी माइनस एक्सटर्नल वर्क ऑफ यू ऑपरेशन सो फर्स्ट वन इज इंटरनल एनर्जी ऑफ ऑफ स्टीम दैट इज ही हेज सेट इट इज इनिशियली हैविंग सम ड्राइनेस फ्रैक्शन सो यू आर फाइंडिंग आउट इंटरनल एनर्जी ऑफ वॉट ऑफ वेट स्टीम सो एल राइट इट एज वेट स्टीम यूर सो इंटरनल एनर्जी ऑफ वेट स्टीम इज गिवन बाय यू वन इज इक्वल टू एच एफ एच एफ प्लस एक्स एच एफ जी माइनस हंड्रेड इंटू पी एक्स वी जी एक्स इज द ड्राइनेस फ्रैक्शन सो इन द प्रॉब्लम एच एफ वैल्यू इज नोन एच एफ जी वैल्यू इज नोन P is known and VG is known and U1 is given in the problem. We need to find out what we need to find out the value of dryness fraction. So upon substituting in the equation, we will get what is this value of dryness fraction. You can see here. I have substituted the value of U1 and first the value I have got the value of x. X is 0.9 dryness fraction. So upon getting the value of x, then by taking the equation of by taking charles law i can find out the value of v super v superheated that is specific volume of superheated steam that is v sup is equal to vg into t sup divided by t sat so i'll get the value of v superheated and then next find out the internal energy of superheated steam that is u2 is equal to hf plus hfg plus cp into bracket t sup minus t sat minus 100 into 100 into p into vg so take this value x is already 1 so we are not writing the value of x here because it is superheated steam so all these values are known to us find out the value of u2 so i'll get the value of u2 as 2780 80.4646 kilojoules per kg and then find out the change in internal energy that is delta u or u2 minus u1 is 360.46 thank you